everyone it is danny and welcome to this updated video this morning and so we'll be talking about what is happening across the tropics so we're looking at the infrared satellites here and we can see that there is still that front and all that activity in the northwestern caribbean and that is going to be inducing rainfall even heavy rain and potentially flooding across some areas so this has been the story for some days now and it is going to be continuing and only getting worse, especially for persons in Florida, as a storm system is likely to form this weekend headed into early next week and will be bringing some impacts. And then out in the Atlantic, we can see all that activity associated with another front. Some models are showing an airflow pressure forming from this, and uh, we'll see what eventually happens uh, between now and heading into tomorrow with it but uh, an airflow pressure is likely to form an association with that system there and some models are even suggesting that it may try to become a subtropical cyclone so we'll see but let's zoom into the caribbean here we can see all this convection over in the northwestern part of the basin it's a bit quieter in the east but of course there are these cloud patches coming in and they're likely to induce some passing showers every now and again it has been happening across some areas for some time now not every single island has been experiencing it though but across the lesser antilles all the way from anguilla southward through grenada including Trinidad, Tobago, Barbados, and even for the ABC Islands as well, there may be some showers as we head through today. For other areas such as Jamaica, there's likely to be some downpours as well, potentially some heavy downpours across some areas because of course there is all of this moisture right here. So there is going to be that chance of some rainfall activity across portions of the island. And so to solidify all this, let's go on to the rainfall forecast here from Euro. So this goes out into the early morning hours of tomorrow around 3 a.m. So between now and then, well, this is from last evening, but through today, this is what is expected. Here we can see all of this color over in parts of Central America, parts of Mexico, going towards sections of Guatemala, Belize, Honduras, the Bay Islands of Honduras, the Keys as well, also for portions of Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama. So we're seeing more of these red shadings going toward these purple and pink shadings. A lot more rainfall is likely within these areas. So those purple shadings show up to uh, around two and a half inches going on to three inches of rainfall and then head into that hot pink around 3.5 inches of rainfall. So there may be some periods of heavy downpours and this has been the story as i said and it's going to be continuing for some areas it will be worse and we'll look at what models have to show in a moment so as we head elsewhere across the caribbean though we're seeing mostly these shades of greens and some spots of yellows and oranges of course but uh, for the most part there may be some passing showers or some activity developing this afternoon especially across parts of northern south america colombia all the way through to suriname and for the abc islands trinidad and tobago going through the lesser antilles the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, it is likely that we're going to be seeing some of these passing showers moving through, but not everywhere is going to be receiving rainfall, unfortunately. Looking toward Jamaica, yes, there may be some showers across the islands, so it is best you walk with your umbrella today if you're going out. For the Cayman Islands as well, there may be some heavy rain if there is a piece of convection, all that concentrated shower and thunderstorm activity in the, uh, in the area, that could induce some inclement weather there. Then for parts of northern Cuba, South Florida, as well as the northwestern Bahamas, there may be some heavy downpours there. Even looking back to the satellite imagery, we can see some activity within the area. So that is what is expected as we head through today. Now, what are models showing? First, we're looking at what the GFS ensemble show. This goes out till Monday of next week. And here we can see all these lines and these L's. So these are the different ensemble members here. And they are showing that we may see some development of that expected system in the Gulf, what we're seeing in the Caribbean now, um, making its way into the Gulf, and then an area flow pressure forming, eventually development takes place. But regardless, all models are showing that a low pressure system and even if it does not become a subtropical storm meaning that it has some characteristics of a tropical storm but not all of them it wouldn't fully reach that threshold but if it possesses some of them it may be considered as such but it's likely to bring dangerous impacts regardless a lot of heavy rain which will induce flooding across some areas uh, those strong winds as well and even those rough seas 
looking at the euro members now euro members are not really showing much we're not seeing a whole lot of them compared to gfs now let's head on to the runs here so we're kickstarting things looking at the gfs model and this is as we're going to be headed out into saturday take a look at this area of low pressure which has formed which uh, which gfs is forecasting at this time we see a pressure of 998 millibars now the lower the pressure is the stronger the system and look at all those shades of greens those dark green shades going on to yellows oranges and reds as well so a pretty intense system making its way through but instead of showing that this is going to be moving right across florida gfs has it that this will be making landfall along the florida panhandle with a pressure of 986 millibars now if you think about this in terms of tropical cyclones this would be the pressure of a system around or uh, just below hurricane status category one status here so it doesn't matter or not this is not guaranteed to become a subtropical storm but as i said earlier it does not matter it is going to be bringing these dangerous impacts and other states could feel impacts as well such as alabama georgia even the carolinas and we're seeing all this moisture stretching across the bahamas going to cuba the cayman islands and eventually as we head further out other areas such as jamaica now looking at what the euro model has to show let's go on to it euro is showing something very much similar this is as we head into saturday but instead of having the system making landfall that's airflow pressure moving up to the florida panhandle euro has it making its way across the state with all of these impacts we're seeing all that moisture as well across portions of the caribbean and then as we head to monday take a look at this so there would be quite the increase in rainfall for areas such as jamaica portions of cuba the bahamas and even headed toward the turks and caicos islands early next week and with that we could also see a cool down across portions of the caribbean but of course we'll be talking more about this as time goes by and that is what the models are showing right now so there is a chance that we could see development and if it seems as though this thing wants to acquire some tropical characteristics then the national hurricane center would mark it as an area to watch so let's see how that goes through today and through the rest of this week on a whole but the timing for this would be around sunday for florida at least now we're almost finished here we're wrapping up with the wind forecast for today from the euro so look at this across much of the caribbean we're seeing these darker purple and these blue shades. so winds today will be over 20 knots up to or over 20 knots for most areas for some areas not going to be as strong but across much of the caribbean islands even going up to parts of the bahamas across the gulf as well uh, we're seeing these dark purple and these blue shadings so winds up to or over 20 knots especially in the central caribbean where we're seeing that winds could be up to around 25 knots down there offshore of colombia so it's going to be a pretty windy day for some of us please stay safe and i'll keep you posted as per usual and i hope you found this video to be quite informative but if you have any questions please leave them in the comments i'll respond to you when i can and remember to always do otherwise